this is your reading for finance and career for May 2022. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading, hypnosis, or whatever I do. Also visit Metaphysical Meanderings. That's my podcast. You can find me on there, um, 9.30 a.m. Central on Saturdays. Also on all the major Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and all the major uh, downloading uh, podcasts at podcasts all those all right so joke of the day oh and by the way you can buy me a cup of coffee if you like what i'm doing i'm doing all this for free buy me a cup of coffee.com slash enchanted sky and i'm trying to get my healing center going so that's what i'm doing so if you notice i'm not spending the money just sits there so i'm not i'm just trying to that's what i'm doing and that is what it will be used for matter of fact i'll be taping it as i do it so um anyway uh, joke of the day. So you know that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Of course it does. It just depends on what your aim is. There you go. And yes, my phone's going off already. I, I did offer some 25% some, um, off readings this week. So this last couple months. So it'd be watching. You'll see them when they pop up sometimes live also. So I'm getting this bit often this month. Now, the Wheel of Fortune, which is a good card. But, like, things are going your way. And you're having offered something, Aries. You're financially. Now, it's, it's, it's something you're going to love, though. It's being cautiously brought to you um, as a knight in shining army, armor. So it's something that somebody's going to help you. Um, and you are going forward with something. You're getting rid of what doesn't work for you and you are letting go. Now, this card can represent stress because you can't try to weather a storm, but at the same point, look what's with it. That's the best card, one of the best, the strongest cards in the deck. That means you have all the power and you have the solution. Okay, that's your idea. You're coming up with an idea of some sort. Now, you've been stuck, but you're trying to start over again with something. Now, the cards are warning you whenever I see this card is that don't overdo anything. Don't over, don't overspend. Don't do anything in excess. Okay. Keep, stay grounded also. That's stay grounded, stay logical, stay, you know, don't go like I just, just having a moment and just go off and do whatever. They're telling you to think everything through. Okay. Now, you've been stuck and there's been some confusion. You know, um, you're in limbo so kind of thing. But you are going to be successful at what you're doing. And like I said, you are going forward with something that this person is bringing you. Now, this can represent also a cups um, or a, um, water signs. So it could be somebody like that. But it's something emotional being brought to you it's cautiously, thoughtfully. And notice he's like, he's a knight in shining armor, sort of, right? But he knows what he's doing. And he's, he's very much got this offer that he hopes that you will take. That's what that card represents. Now, like I said, you're going in a certain direction and how you think it's going to go isn't how it's going to end up. So it might take a little jog in the road. And here's the ultimate empress of creativity. This, there's something very creative about all of this. Um, I'm getting a lot of creativity cards, which I find very interesting. But I do want to say that when I pull this card, you're blessed from the other side. Okay? And it's going forward. It's good luck. It's great luck. And you're waiting for messages. It's crossing you. You're waiting to hear about something. Okay? So just think of it that way. All right? And this is a great optimism. You know, let jump and let the net materialize. That's this card. So just remember that. Okay, um, let's see what we get on the emotional cards. These cards are Moonology. I like pulling different cards, um, but so I've got maybe four decks I really like. I've got probably 30 decks over here by <laughs> over here next to me. I just really, really like certain decks more than others. And if I don't really like them, I sell them. I, re re uh, I put them up for sale on eBay, eBay or I take them to stores and resell them. So, all right. And this deck has a lot of garbage on it. I think it's just because I've used it so much. Anyway, a fiery climax is approaching. So everything's coming to a head so that you can get unstuck. 
Okay, because this card represents this card of stuckness. So just remember that. Communication is the key. And remember I told you there this is a this is a verbal communication. Okay. So there is communication going on. You have to deal with it. Now it's very interesting because I got two cards stuck here. There. Bring love into the situation. You gotta love what you do. Remember? Be always be kind with any, any decisions you make on yourself and all, everybody around you. Now, this is an interesting because luck is on your side. I say that Wheel of Fortune is lucky. And I'm still saying that you what you need to do because we're still in uh, Jupiter's in, Pis in Pisces up through May. And at some point in May, it changes. It comes back again. Anyway, look at your houses. If you can find your, you go to Astro Seek, I believe. Do that. Make sure that you see where you have 1 to 12. And Pisces will sit somewhere. That's where your luck is. So if it's in your fourth house, it could be career. If it's in your 10th house, it could be spirituality. Okay. You need to step out of your comfort zone and get yourself unstuck. That's part of getting yourself unstuck. Okay. Be bold and make the first move. You've got to make the move yourself. Even though somebody's going to be bringing you something, you've got to go ahead. Let's just, I still say this is you doing it. You know, you are a forward person. You are an Aries. Aries do not sit. They are doers. So make use of that. Blessings to you. Make it a great month. What are you going to do with this? Go for it. Blessings.